I'm not being cool. I'm really just regrouping because I hadn't heard the song in advance, and I'm just trying not to cry. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't have real feelings. It's happening. It's true. Thank you. You understand me. Gosh. How are we doing? It was in March of 2011 I first walked up here on the open stage and to say I was petrified would be inaccurate because to be petrified one must be frozen with fear. I was vibrating in horror of the idea of standing in front of what is not quite nearly so many people as right now. And if you had told me it would grow like this, I'd probably be thinking it differently. But I thought I would bring this with me and I would lean on it and this was a perfect plan except for one thing. I was shaking so badly that it popped out from under my arm and went sailing <laughs> this very staff into the audience. Wait, it gets better. We didn't have a dance floor at the time. We didn't have a band at the time. We, we didn't even have a punch bowl at the time. This was a tough room to do this kind of failure in. That's what I'm telling you. So let, let, me, let me put this off the side. I'll tell you the rest of the story. So at that point, the staff sailed off and I reached out and with everything in me, I said, wait, stop, rewind, undo, bad thing. <laughs> and what I didn't know was what I figured out over the last year is that this stage is magic and will grant any wish that you ask. And more than you ask, I, I wanted a little bad thing undone, rewind, and I found that I could time travel. And frozen like this, I flashed back to a few months prior. I was backstage at my first performance with the Circus Freaks. And Big Bill Edwilson was backstage, he's right there, grabbing me, grabbing me by both shoulders, trying to keep me from vibrating. And he said to me, he said, nobody comes into the theater. Nobody comes in, gets their ticket, sits in their seat, looks at a stage and says, gosh, I hope this really sucks. <laughs> it doesn't happen. People go, I wanna see something awesome. And I had this epiphany that it's possible to remember that I'm in a room with all my friends. It's easy here because, well, I'm in a room with all my friends. Some of you don't know me yet, you will. Embarrassingly true. Not now. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can I finish the story? Okay, so I'm there. He gives me this epiphany, and I rock it back to the present, and my hands up, but I don't feel the same way as I did before, because before it was just, ah! and now it's something a little more wise, because I'm a time traveler, and I know some stuff. And I say to myself, well, I gotta come up with something because I'm standing here Zeke Highland in the air. <laughs> and I see something interesting. And if you know who this is, I'm gonna ask you to never shout out the answer to this question. Somebody in the shadows, because you don't know this, but these are so bright that we named them. This is Phobos and this is Demos. And they, I actually can't see anything but the front row. You guys in the back, hi, you're a blur. But, some shadow ran forward and placed that staff right there so I could retrieve it later. And I realized they had embodied the magic of this place. For a moment, everybody is putting in their energy to make little magical things happen. And suddenly, I knew what to say. And I threw my hand down and I said, well folks, that's live theater and we're not stopping for anyone. A year later, I'm standing up here wearing the same hat. I look over, I see the same stick leaned against the wall, but I know I'm surrounded and I'm still shaking just a little bit. But you know what? There is nowhere else on earth I wanna be. I'd have been looking for two more words to say and there's only two that matter. Happy birthday to all of you. <laughs> Thank you.